Hello, this is Frank Kutka, the Dakota Corn Man, and this is my squash breeding project for 2012. These are the fruits that were saved from a three-way cross of a Northern Plains Hubbard, a Southwestern Native Hubbard type, and a curry type squash, which is sort of a buttercup. After several generations of open pollination, uh, these were the fruits that uh, matured for me in uh, the somewhat dry summer here in western North Dakota in 2012. Fruit size after several generations of selecting for earliness has mostly gone to the buttercup size, but the uh, colors vary wildly. Um, this particular squash is colored like the Northern Plains Aricara type. And this squash here has the color of the variety from the desert southwest and all of the green colored ones look much more like the curry type squash that was the other parent. This year I have 35 mature fruits uh, which is pretty good given that I grow under bad conditions in the somewhat dry and uh, salty soils here in western North Dakota. However uh, had a pretty good harvest and a lot to pick from. So what I'm doing here is I'm numbering each of my fruits and I'm going to number each of them twice. One will be on the slice I'm going to take out for taste testing and the other will be on the rest of the fruit so I can find the part that has all the seeds later if I like a particular slice. And what I'm going to do is take slices of each of these and bake them up and taste test all of them at once and see whether or not there are some squashes I really like. Uh, currently, since these are open pollinated, I'm not worried too much about color. Uh, I guess size has worked out uh, by natural selection here. This is somewhat small to large buttercup sizes. But I'm going to do taste test and save the three best squashes for growing next year when I'm going to start selfing. These are cooked slices from the very best tasting of the squashes. So I got about seven or eight out of 35. And these three right over here are the ones that are the very best in flavor and texture and I will save seed from those. These are the two best squashes this year numbers 30 and 14. Each of them have fairly small seed cavities, uh, pretty good uh, thick flesh. Uh, the flesh was absolutely delicious and of course they made squashes on time in uh, western North Dakota with nine inches of rain in salty clay. So they're the winners. And for each of them I've now scooped out the seeds which I'll just let dry and save those for replanting next year when I start to self them and fix the best characteristics of these particular squashes. The seeds of squash are found in the center part of the fruit and in uh, buttercup types like these it's a very small area but basically what we need to do with the seeds is to pull them out of all of the gooey mess and get our hands a little sloppy and we'll take these seeds and put them on a container or in a container uh, preferably fairly open uh, made of plastic uh, not too deep maybe one layer of seed deep and let them dry for a few weeks when we do that all of the goo off of them will start to dry and you can We know all of that off, you have know, nice clean seed. That can just be packed then into envelopes or into jars and stored for the next round of uh, breeding and replanting next year.